Hi and welcome back to the channel, this is Sci-Fi Fans and I'm your host Wayne. For regular viewers, you would notice that there is a current theme at the moment and that is I'm discussing 1980s Sinbad films, 1970s as well, as well as Clash of the Titans and such. So today is no different and I'd like to take you behind the scenes and discuss some movie trivia that you probably didn't know about Sinbad of the Seven Seas. Released in 1989, it would go on to become a massive flop and there is a reason for that and I'll get to that later on in the video. In the meantime, here are my top picks of trivia. Enjoy. 3D films are nothing new. You might think that they are given the fact that they have been all the rage in the last five or six to 10 years. But filmmakers have always wanted to make 3D films way back since they were probably making them 100 years ago or so. So this film is no different and in 1989 they wanted to make this Sinbad film a 3D film with Luigi Cozy directing. Subsequently that didn't happen and we have the film that we've got today. Screenwriter Luigi Cozy was originally going to direct this Sinbad film but at the very last minute in 1986 he was replaced by Enzo Costaleo. Enzo Costaleo literally cost a lot because I think that's what he ended up doing for not a lot. Um, he would go on to spend millions of dollars to produce a three hour long film which made absolutely no sense at all and pretty much the footage was unusable. Um, so then Cozy was rehired to make sense of this footage and to edit it into something that they could release as a film. This cost them an additional $500,000 and the end product is what we got here. For the great and wise Oracle, they actually used stock footage from another film altogether. 1964's Hercules and the Moon Men. What they did though, they used the footage of the Moon Men, slightly modified it with lighting and other visual effects, and then gave it a totally different voiceover. Sinbad of the Seven Seas features in John Williams' book, Razzies at the Movie Guide, in the uh, top 100 bad movies of all time that is the most enjoyable of the bad movies if you get me drift <laughs> so he says it's bad but it's actually good so good it's bad good bad and coming up next is the reason why this film failed at the box office in the mid to late 80s the only way that you could re-watch a film from the cinema would either wait for it to come onto the tv or get a copy of it on video and watch it at home Home video became quite big business and that's how we ended up with stores such as Blockbusters which are sadly no more because of streaming services. How does that link into Sinbad of the Seven Seas? Well with the final cut and edit of the film the uh, production company, the film studio realised that they had probably one of the worst films that if they'd released in the theatre would bomb so hard that they'd lose a tonne of money. So rather than take that chance they put it straight out onto video for the home market rental and that was uh, why it was probably considered to be a bomb. As I mentioned earlier though it has gone on to become one of the uh, favourite bad films of all time so so good it's bad again and that's it for this video thank you very much for watching. Do um, come back for some more movie trivia and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.